Lloyd Nolan, an actor who graced both the big and small screens, was born on August 11, 1902, in San Francisco, California. His career spanned over four decades, and he left an indelible mark on the industry with his versatile performances. Nolan began his career on Broadway in the 1930s, appearing in plays such as Seventh Heaven and Ah Wilderness. His breakout role came in 1935 when he starred in the film Green Light, which earned him critical acclaim. Throughout his career, Nolan appeared in over 100 films and television shows. He was known for his tough guy roles, often playing detectives or police officers. Some of his most memorable films include The House on 92nd Street, The Street with No Name, and Peyton Place. In the 1950s, Nolan transitioned to television, starring in the series Martin Kane, Private Eye, and Julia. He also made guest appearances on popular shows such as The Untouchables, Perry Mason, and Columbo. Nolan was not only an accomplished actor, but also a dedicated family man. He was married to his wife Mary for over 50 years, and they had three children together. Despite his success, Nolan remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He once said, I've never been a star, just a working actor, and I'm proud of it. Nolan's contributions to the film and television industry continue to be celebrated today. His classic films and shows remain popular, and his legacy lives on through his family and fans. Lloyd Nolan was a beloved American actor, known for his work in film, television, and theater. Throughout his long career, he starred in many memorable films and shows. You might hold Peyton Place, Julia, or The Blue Dahlia closest to your heart. What made Nolan stand out from his contemporaries was his ability to portray a wide range of characters, from tough detectives to caring doctors. His unique acting style and charisma made him a fan favorite. Do you have a cherished memory or personal experience related to Lloyd Nolan? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In this video, we will share many funny, shocking, and sad facts about this classic star, so be sure to keep watching. So, what was it about Lloyd Nolan that made him so special to you? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Born on August 11, 1902, in San Francisco, Lloyd Nolan was the son of Irish immigrants. His father, James Nolan, worked as a ship's steward, while his mother, Delia Nolan, was a homemaker. The family later moved to New York, where Nolan's passion for acting began. Nolan's early exposure to the craft came from his mother, who was an avid theatergoer. She would often take him to see plays and operas, sparking his interest in the performing arts. As a teenager, Nolan began performing in school plays and community theater productions. After high school, Nolan attended the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York City. There, he honed his acting skills and learned the techniques of stagecraft. He was heavily influenced by his teachers, who instilled in him a deep appreciation for the classics and a commitment to artistic excellence. One of Nolan's earliest mentors was the renowned actor and director, George Abbott. Abbott recognized Nolan's talent and cast him in several of his productions, including the hit Broadway play, Brother Rap. Nolan's performance in the show caught the attention of Hollywood, and he was soon offered a contract with 20th Century Fox. Throughout his career, Nolan remained committed to his craft and continued to seek out new challenges and opportunities. He was known for his versatility and his ability to play a wide range of characters, from tough guy detectives to charming leading men. Nolan's contributions to the world of film and television have left an indelible mark on the industry and continue to be celebrated by audiences and critics alike. Lloyd Nolan, an actor who graced the film industry during the 1930s and continued to do so for several decades, left an indelible mark on Hollywood. His career spanned over five decades, and he appeared in over 100 films and television shows. In the early years of his career, Nolan was known for his tough guy roles in films such as Marked Woman and The Maltese Falcon. He played detectives, cops, and other law enforcement figures, often bringing a sense of realism and authenticity to these characters. However, Nolan's talents extended beyond these types of roles. He was a versatile actor who could play a wide range of characters, from comedic to dramatic. In the 1940s, he starred in a series of popular films as a doctor, including A Walk in the Sun and The House on 92nd Street. Nolan's contributions to the film industry went beyond his acting abilities. He was also a director and producer, and he helped to launch the careers of several young actors. One of Nolan's most significant contributions to Hollywood was his work in television. In the 1950s and 1960s, he starred in several popular TV shows, including Julia and Peyton Place. He was one of the first actors to successfully transition from film to television, 
and he helped to pave the way for other actors to do the same. Nolan's influence on the film industry extended beyond his own career. He was a mentor to many young actors, and helped to foster a new generation of talent. He was also a strong advocate for actors' rights, and worked tirelessly to improve the working conditions for actors in Hollywood. In conclusion, Lloyd Nolan was a trailblazer in the film industry. His versatility, talent, and dedication to his craft helped to shape the industry and left a lasting impact on Hollywood. His contributions to the film and television industries will be remembered for generations to come. As a young boy, Lloyd Nolan was captivated by the magic of the theater. His father, a vaudeville performer, would often take him to see plays and shows, igniting a passion in Nolan that would last a lifetime. At the age of 16, he made his stage debut in a small production, and from there, he knew he had found his calling. During his early years in the industry, Nolan worked as a stage manager and bit player, learning the ins and outs of the business. It wasn't until he was in his late 20s that he landed his first major film role in The Last Gangster. From there, he became a fixture in Hollywood, appearing in over 100 films and television shows throughout his career. One of Nolan's most pivotal experiences came during World War II, when he served as a captain in the United States Coast Guard. While stationed in the Pacific, he organized and starred in USO shows for his fellow servicemen. These experiences not only solidified his love for performing, but also gave him a newfound appreciation for the power of entertainment to bring people together. After the war, Nolan returned to Hollywood and continued to deliver memorable performances in films such as The House on 92nd Street, Peyton Place, and Julius Caesar. He also became a familiar face on television, appearing in shows such as Julia, The Real McCoys, and I Spy. Throughout his career, Nolan remained dedicated to his craft, always pushing himself to deliver his best performance. He once said, I've always believed that an actor should never stop learning, never stop growing, never stop taking risks. And it was this philosophy that made him one of the most respected and admired actors of his time. Lloyd Nolan, profiled in Hollywood Players the 30s by James Robert Parrish and William T. Leonard, played a significant role in the disaster film Earthquake. Initially, Nolan's character, Dr. Jim Vance, had a more extensive role, acting as Remy Royce Graff's personal doctor and Stuart Graff's friend. However, in the final edit, Dr. Vance's first appearance was as the doctor who examined Sam Royce at the Wilson Plaza. A deleted scene from Earthquake would have established a relationship between Nolan's character and the Royce Graffs. In this scene, Dr. Vance inadvertently reveals to Stuart Graff that Remy Royce Graff had an abortion a few years prior. Information Stuart believed was a miscarriage. The scene was cut before the film's release. Additionally, Nolan played Admiral Garvey in the Cold War thriller Ice Station Zebra. Interestingly, his character was added during post-production, requiring reshoots. Nolan's contributions to these films, though varied in screen time, left a noticeable impact on the final products. Born in 1902, Lloyd Nolan faced many obstacles early in his acting career. Financial struggles were a constant challenge for this aspiring actor. To make ends meet, he took on various jobs, from working as a bank clerk to selling shoes. Yet, his passion for acting never wavered. In the competitive world of Hollywood, Nolan encountered skepticism from industry insiders. His unconventional looks and rugged charm initially led to typecasting, limiting his opportunities. However, Nolan refused to let this deter him. Instead, he used these challenges as stepping stones to success. Nolan honed his craft, taking acting classes, and performing in local theater productions. He also began producing his own plays, giving himself the chance to shine. Nolan's resilience paid off when he landed his breakout role in counter-espionage. His performance was praised by critics and audiences alike, proving his doubters wrong. From then on, Nolan became a sought-after actor in both film and television. Throughout his career, Nolan continued to push boundaries and challenge himself. He took on a variety of roles, showcasing his versatility and talent. Despite facing early obstacles, Nolan's determination and creativity allowed him to leave a lasting impact on the film industry. In the film Lady in the Lake, the actor Lloyd Nolan, who played Lieutenant DeGarmo, had a close call with injury when a bullet shattered a window, sending glass shards flying and one embedding in his cornea. Rushed to the hospital, a doctor carefully removed the glass, saving his sight. The film, like many in the classic mystery genre, paid homage to its predecessors by naming characters after famous mystery writers. In The Adventure of the Mad Tea Party, there were characters named Gardner, Biggers, and Doyle, a nod to the greats of the genre. 
Man marked the actor's film debut, where he played Hugh Farrell. The movie, like many in the genre, featured actors who had made their names playing classic detectives, such as Lloyd Nolan as Mike Shane, and Howard Duff as Sam Spade in movies and on the radio. In this classic film, the actor's portrayal of Hugh Farrell was a standout, showcasing his talent and versatility in the genre. With his co-stars, he helped to create a captivating and enduring film that resonates with audiences to this day. In the late 1930s, the actor Lloyd Nolan's career took a significant turn with his role in Stage Door, a classic film that showcased his ability to hold his own against the star-studded cast. Co-starring Katherine Hepburn and Ginger Rogers, Nolan's portrayal of a down-to-earth stage manager resonated with audiences and critics alike. The film's director, Gregory Lacava, praised Nolan for his natural charisma and authenticity, stating, Lloyd has a rare gift for making even the smallest moments feel genuine and engaging. Following Stage Door, the actor continued to make an impact with his work in the groundbreaking radio series Terrible Trio, which debuted in 1942. As the leader of a trio of mystery-solving amateur detectives, Nolan's character, Michael Shane, became a cultural phenomenon. The show's innovative format, which featured interactive elements allowing listeners to solve the mysteries alongside the characters, earned widespread acclaim. Critic John Dunning noted, Nolan's portrayal of Shane was a masterclass in radio acting, capturing the character's charm, wit, and intelligence with every line. In the 1950s, the actor experienced another breakthrough moment with his role in Pete Kelly's Blues, a film that garnered critical acclaim for its innovative jazz score and gritty depiction of Prohibition-era Kansas City. Nolan's portrayal of a ruthless gangster earned him widespread recognition and critical acclaim. Director Jack Webb praised Nolan's ability to bring depth and nuance to even the most villainous characters, stating, Lloyd has a rare gift for finding the humanity in even the most despicable characters, making them relatable and compelling. Throughout his career, the actor's work continued to inspire and captivate audiences and critics alike. His ability to bring even the smallest moments to life with authenticity and charisma cemented his status as a true Hollywood legend. As director Gregory Lacava noted, Lloyd Nolan is a rare talent, one who can make even the most ordinary moments feel extraordinary. His contributions to this classic art form will be cherished for generations to come. In the 1950s, Lloyd Nolan's career reached new heights. He received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, an honor bestowed upon him in recognition of his significant contributions to the film industry. That same decade, he was nominated for an Emmy Award for his outstanding performance in the television show Julia. Throughout his lifetime, Nolan's work continued to be celebrated. He received critical acclaim for his role in the film Peyton Place, which earned him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. In addition, he was honored with the Silver Bear for Best Actor at the Berlin International Film Festival for his performance in The House in the Square. Nolan's talent was not limited to the big screen. He also made a significant impact on television, earning three Emmy Award nominations throughout his career. His work in the show at Carly posthumously earned him a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Performer in a Children's Series. The actor's contributions to the entertainment industry were not only recognized during his lifetime, but have continued to be celebrated in the years since his passing. In 2005, he was inducted into the Western Performers Hall of Fame, a testament to his enduring legacy in the world of Western films. Throughout his career, Lloyd Nolan's versatility and talent were celebrated with numerous awards and honors. From his early days on the stage to his final roles on television, his work left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and continues to be cherished by audiences today. Lloyd Nolan, an actor known for his versatile roles, had a unique approach to his work. He once stated, I never play a part, I become a part. This philosophy was reflected in his immersive method acting style. Nolan would delve deep into the character's psyche, studying their motivations, background, and emotions. He once said, every character I play has a piece of me in it. His personal experiences often influenced his portrayals. Having served in the Navy, Nolan brought a genuine sense of authority and grit to his military roles. In the film A Walk in the Sun, his performance as a battle-weary sergeant resonated with veterans and audiences alike. Nolan's worldview was also reflected in his work. He was a strong advocate for social justice, which was evident in his portrayal of Detective Michael Shane in the film The Street with No Name. Nolan Shane was a champion of the underdog, fighting against corruption and injustice. 
The actor's unique approach to his work was not just about memorizing lines and hitting marks. He once said, acting is not just about speaking, it's about listening, reacting, and being present in the moment. This philosophy was evident in his nuanced performances, where he could convey a multitude of emotions with just a glance or a pause. Nolan's work transcended the screen, leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. His ability to become one with his characters, his commitment to authenticity, and his advocacy for social justice set him apart from his peers. His legacy continues to resonate with audiences and inspire aspiring actors today. In the film Earthquake, Lloyd Nolan took on the role of Dr. Vance. Interestingly, Nolan and co-star Lauren Green had previously worked together in Peyton Place, where Nolan played Doc Swain, who was questioned on the witness stand by Green's prosecuting attorney. Moreover, Earthquake featured five actors who appeared in movies from the airport franchise. Charlton Heston starred in Airport 1975, while Lloyd Nolan was in Airport. Monica Lewis acted in Airport 77 and the Concord Airport 79. Eugene Donarski appeared in Airport 1975, and George Kennedy graced all four airport films. The actor Lloyd Nolan was a father of two children, a daughter named Melinda and a son named Jay. Sadly, Jay was autistic and passed away at the young age of 26 due to choking. This tragic event marked a somber moment in the actor's life. Lloyd Nolan, a seasoned actor known for his versatility, left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. His career spanned several decades with over 100 film and TV credits to his name. Nolan's ability to embody various characters with conviction and nuance set him apart from his contemporaries. In the 1930s and 1940s, Nolan was a familiar face in Hollywood, appearing in films such as Private Detective 62 and The House on 92nd Street. Critics and audiences alike praised his performances, recognizing his talent for bringing depth and authenticity to his roles. As television gained popularity, Nolan transitioned seamlessly to the small screen. He starred in several successful series, including Juliet and Police Story. Nolan's portrayal of a wise cracking detective in Julia was particularly noteworthy as he brought both humor and humanity to the character. Nolan's influence on the industry is still felt today. Many modern actors cite him as an inspiration, praising his ability to adapt to different genres and mediums. According to actor Ed O'Neill, Lloyd Nolan was a master of his craft. He could play drama, comedy, and everything in between. He was a true inspiration. Director Ron Howard echoes this sentiment, stating, Lloyd Nolan was a trailblazer. He proved that actors could have successful careers in both film and television. His contributions to the industry are immeasurable. Nolan's impact on storytelling is equally significant. His ability to convey complex emotions and motivations through his performances allowed writers to explore deeper themes and narratives. As a result, his work resonates with audiences to this day. In conclusion, Lloyd Nolan's contributions to the film and television industry are undeniable. His versatility, talent, and influence continue to inspire actors and filmmakers today, making him a true classic in the world of entertainment. In 1939, when John Ford asked John Wayne who might be suitable for the role of the Ringo Kid in Stagecoach, Wayne suggested Lloyd Nolan. This classic actor went on to appear in three films nominated for the Oscar for Best Picture Peyton Place in 1957, Airport in 1970, and Hannah and her sisters in 1986. In his later years, Nolan often portrayed doctors, bearing a striking resemblance to the famed Alabama physician Lloyd Noland, with whom he shared a similar name. This similarity in names and professions only added to the intrigue surrounding the actor's career. With his distinguished look and commanding presence, Nolan brought a sense of authority and dignity to every role he played. His contributions to the world of film and television continue to be celebrated and appreciated by audiences today. Lloyd Nolan, a dedicated actor known for his versatile roles, led a life outside of the spotlight that was deeply informed by his personal values and interests. He was a family man who cherished time with his loved ones, often using his downtime to reconnect with them. Nolan's wife, three children, and grandchildren were his top priority, and he often spoke about the joy they brought him. In addition to his love for family, Nolan was passionate about giving back to his community. He was involved in several philanthropic efforts throughout his life, focusing on causes that were close to his heart. One such cause was the American Cancer Society, for which he served as a spokesperson and volunteer for many years. Nolan's dedication to the organization was inspired by the loss of his sister to cancer. 
and he worked tirelessly to raise awareness and funds for research. Another cause that Nolan was deeply committed to was the preservation of wildlife and natural resources. He was an avid outdoorsman and environmentalist, often using his platform to speak out about the importance of conservation. Nolan worked with several organizations to promote sustainable practices and protect endangered species, and he was a vocal advocate for the establishment of national parks and wildlife reserves. Despite his many accomplishments and contributions to the entertainment industry, Nolan remained humble and grounded throughout his life. He was known for his kindness and generosity, and he often went out of his way to help others. Nolan's personal values and interests were deeply intertwined with his work, and he used his platform to make a positive impact on the world around him. His legacy continues to resonate with audiences today, inspiring new generations of actors and philanthropists alike. The actor Lloyd Nolan was known for his lifelong commitment to the Republican Party. This political stance, however, did not define his career in Hollywood. Nolan's acting skills were showcased in various films and shows, including his role as Sergeant Hook Malone in the war film Guadalcanal Diary. The film was released in 1943, and its success led to a radio broadcast of the same title on Lux Radio Theater on February 28, 1944. Notably, Nolan reprised his character, Sergeant Hook Malone, in the radio broadcast, along with his co-stars William Bendix, Preston Foster, and Richard Jekyll. Nolan's career spanned several decades, and he continued to act until his final film, Hannah and Her Sisters. The film was released nearly six months after his death on September 27, 1985. In this Woody Allen classic, Nolan played the role of Evan, a character that showcased his versatility as an actor. His performance in Hannah and Her Sisters was a fitting end to a remarkable career. In summary, Lloyd Nolan was a talented actor who left a lasting impact on the film industry. His political beliefs did not define him, and his career was marked by his versatility and commitment to his craft. From his role in Guadalcanal Diary to his final performance in Hannah and her sisters, Nolan's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Lloyd Nolan, a seasoned actor who left his mark on the industry through his diverse range of roles, remains a source of inspiration for aspiring professionals. Known for his work in classic films like Peyton Place and The House on 92nd Street, Nolan's legacy is one of adaptability and commitment to his craft. For those looking to break into the industry, Nolan's advice would likely center around perseverance and versatility. The actor's own career spanned decades and encompassed a wide variety of roles, from private eyes to doctors to fathers. Nolan's ability to adapt to new characters and stories surely played a role in his longevity in the industry. Additionally, Nolan's commitment to his craft is evident in the way he approached each role. He was known for his thorough preparation and attention to detail, often going above and beyond to ensure an authentic performance. This level of dedication is something that aspiring actors would do well to emulate. In terms of future contributions, it's clear that Nolan's legacy continues to resonate with audiences today. Modern film and television still value the kind of versatile, committed performances that Nolan brought to the screen. By following in his footsteps and approaching their work with dedication, and adaptability, aspiring actors can help carry on Nolan's legacy. Of course, it's important for aspiring professionals to remember that success in the industry is never guaranteed. But by taking inspiration from actors like Lloyd Nolan and committing themselves to their craft, they can increase their chances of making a lasting impact. In the end, Nolan's legacy serves as a reminder that success in the industry is not just about talent, but also about perseverance, adaptability, and a deep commitment to the craft of acting. By following in his footsteps, aspiring professionals can honor his legacy and pave their own path to success. After receiving great recognition for his portrayal of Lieutenant Queege in the Kane Mutiny Court Martial on Broadway, and in London, which earned him the Donaldson and New York Drama Critics Awards as Best Actor of 1954, the actor also performed it on television, winning an Emmy. In Lady in the Lake, the actor, who had previously played the lead in Time to Kill, took on the role of Lieutenant de Garma. Time to Kill was based on another of Raymond Chandler's Philip Marlowe novels, The High Window, and was released as part of the Michael Shane series of detective films. The actor, who starred in Airport alongside George Kennedy, later appeared in Earthquake. Following the rap of Earthquake, Kennedy and Charlton Heston went on to star in Airport 1975, which began filming just 18 hours later. Lloyd Nolan, a dedicated actor, graced the entertainment industry for over five decades. 
Born in 1902, he started his career on Broadway before transitioning to films in the 1930s. Throughout his journey, he demonstrated a passion for storytelling and an innovative spirit that left an enduring impact. In the early years, Nolan chose diverse roles, from detectives to soldiers, showcasing his versatility. His breakthrough role in Pride of the Marines earned him critical acclaim and solidified his status as a leading man. Never shying away from complex characters, he embraced roles that challenged him and resonated with audiences. Nolan's career transcended eras, from the golden age of Hollywood to the dawn of television. He seamlessly transitioned between media, always bringing depth and authenticity to his performances. His work in Julia earned him an Emmy nomination, highlighting his ability to adapt and innovate within the industry. This classic actor's perseverance is a testament to the power of creativity and determination. Even when faced with challenges, such as the shift from films to television, Nolan embraced the change and thrived. His enduring impact on the entertainment industry serves as a reminder that creativity and adaptability can lead to a lasting legacy. In the end, Lloyd Nolan's journey is a captivating tale of passion, innovation, and perseverance. His ability to adapt and excel in various roles and mediums continues to resonate, inspiring future generations of artists to step in and leave their own indelible mark. Indeed, the power of creativity and determination can shape not only an individual's path, but also the landscape of an entire industry. Lloyd Nolan took on various roles throughout his career, showcasing his acting range. In the film Lady in the Lake, both he and Leon Ames had parts. Nolan later replaced David Niven as Cap Carson in Circus World after Niven left due to script changes. In the groundbreaking TV show Julia, Nolan played Dr. Morton Chegley. The show tackled race issues, making it a trailblazer for its time. One notable storyline involved a young boy asking Julia what it's like to be colored, to which she responded by turning the question back on him. Nolan, looking back on his career, expressed pride in his role in this series. Lloyd Nolan, the actor known for his work in film and television, kept his terminal illness a secret while filming his last acting role on the popular show Murder, she wrote. He appeared in the show during its second season, just before his 83rd birthday. Unfortunately, the strain of fighting the illness had taken a toll on his memory and physical strength. Series star Angela Lansbury went out of her way to help him get through his scenes. Nolan's professional career began at the Pasadena Playhouse, where he later joined the road company of the front page. After playing Biff Grimes in one Sunday afternoon, he left Broadway for Hollywood. There, he appeared in a number of films, including Guadalcanal Diary in 1943. It's worth noting that Nolan was a longtime pipe and cigar smoker, and it was lung cancer that ultimately took his life. His contributions to the world of film and television will not be forgotten, and his work continues to be cherished by audiences today. Despite the challenges he faced towards the end of his life, Nolan remained dedicated to his craft and left behind a legacy that continues to resonate with audiences today. Lloyd Nolan was not only a successful actor, but also a dedicated activist for autistic children's education. His personal experience with his autistic son led him to advocate for better opportunities for children with autism. Throughout his career, Nolan appeared in numerous films and television shows, but his activism work was equally important to him. He used his platform to raise awareness about autism and worked tirelessly to ensure that children with autism received the education they deserved. Nolan's advocacy for autistic children's education was a significant part of his life, and his efforts left a lasting impact. His work in this area served as a reminder that education is a fundamental right for all children, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. The actor's dedication to this cause highlights the importance of using one's platform for good. By using his fame and influence to advocate for autistic children's education, Nolan demonstrated that celebrities can make a difference in their communities and beyond. In conclusion, Lloyd Nolan was not just a talented actor, but also a passionate activist for autistic children's education. His personal experience with his autistic son inspired him to fight for better opportunities for children with autism, leaving a lasting impact on the community. After a career spanning several decades, Lloyd Nolan left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With his distinctive style and powerful performances, the actor captivated audiences and earned critical acclaim. Throughout his career, Nolan showcased his versatility in a variety of roles, from tough guy detectives to compassionate doctors. His work in classic films like Penguin Pool Murder 
and the house on 92nd Street solidified his status as a leading man. But Nolan's talents weren't limited to the big screen. He also made a name for himself on television, with memorable roles in shows like Julia and Police Story. His ability to connect with audiences and deliver compelling performances made him a fan favorite. As we reflect on Nolan's career, it's clear that his impact on the entertainment industry is still felt today. His work continues to resonate with audiences, and his legacy lives on through his many memorable performances. So, what do you think about Lloyd Nolan's work and legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and share this post with your friends so they can join the conversation too. If you enjoyed this celebration of Lloyd Nolan's career, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more content celebrating the creative spirits who have shaped entertainment. There are so many more classic films and shows to explore, and we can't wait to share them.